Today I'm going to be doing a makeup look using the Revolution X Disney Beauty and the Beast palette. Just quickly before I get started on that I wanted to mention a few things. So if you're not interested you can just skip ahead, there'll be timestamps in the description. So if you're a regular viewer of mine you may have noticed that I haven't filmed any videos for a while which was completely unintentional. Um, but I've actually split up with my partner, so that's what's been happening and I'm now living with my mum temporarily until I can sort out money stuff, basically. <laughs> um, so yeah, <laughs> everything's fine, I'm fine. Um, but yeah, so I, I'm really looking forward to getting back into doing my videos. I've got lots of makeup to do. Of, um, I'm actually going to film a whole video after this because I've got loads. Hopefully there'll be regular uploads now. Alright, so that's all I'm going to say and then we'll get into the makeup now. Alright, so here's a look at the palette. Ooh, and oh, still got the plastics inside. But this is a little look of what it looks like. I will put up um, close-ups on the screen for you. I will put up swatches on the screen for you now as well. So I've done a little face chart of what I was thinking of doing. This is all crumpled and everything because I've had this ready for weeks. Um, I'm actually in the process of drawing up my own face chart. It's like my own template because I was thinking. I'm not sure if you can see it, but I might start designing out my eyeshadow looks on my iPad and then I can actually do colours a bit more accurately. So yeah, and then I might actually put, once I've done it, the template up in my Etsy shop, which oh, I've actually, I've opened that up again. So I don't know, if you're interested in any night like, sort of planner stickers or you know, digital stickers. It's, it's purely going to be a digital shop. So I'm going to put all sorts of digital stuff up there. So I'm thinking a gold and red look. So I'm thinking either ballroom or beauty. This one's obviously a bit more yellow. This one's more gold. And then for the red, I was thinking rose. And there's Gaston. See, this one's got a bit of shimmer. And what was the other one I wrote down? Oh, Little Town, possibly. Although, that's more of a corally look. But we'll, we'll just get started. We'll get into it. Alright. Oh, I've got contacts. Yay! <laughs> so, hopefully, we had to... Do this better for you guys. Right, so let's let's just get straight into it. I don't want to be blabbering about for ages. Right, okay, so I'm zoomed in, I'll put some eye primer on. Way too much eye primer. So let's get started. So I think I'm gonna go straight in with the red. So we'll use rose.
So there's the red. It's, it's a very nice colour. What a pretty gift. Okay, so I'm going to go in with, I think, I'll try to do, um, let me close it. <laughs> Little swatches on my arm to decide which um, gold I want to use. And I think I'm going to go with the more yellowy one. So I'm going to go with Beauty, I think, and we'll see how that goes. And we're just going to chuck this in. really nice yellow gold yellow gold <laughs> I wasn't actually sure if I was gonna do a winged liner but I think it would actually look quite nice with this Okay, so here's the look so far. I did manage to <laughs> put a bunch of eyeliner on the eyeshadow. I'm going to tidy this up a bit and do my base and then we'll come back and finish the eyes up. Alright, I've done my base. I put some lipstick on as well. I don't think I applied it the best, but <laughs> I might. Right, so let's do, I need to do highlight and blush, and um, put some eyeshadow under the eyes, where's my brush, <laughs> you can't see that, oh, got cookie, and then we'll get a smaller brush, the red and I think I might actually use some of that Gaston see if we can deepen up the corner a bit I think Should have done before I put the lashes on. All right, let's use the smaller brush and we'll see about. Now this Gaston is shimmery. I don't think they're gonna work actually. <laughs> right, okay, we're leaving it as that then. Right, let's put a little bit of mascara underneath on the lower lash and the liner I think. Okay, I need to hurry up now because the camera battery is getting low. Right, so now we've got the blush and highlights to and what colours? Right, I think we'll do the two at the top because I think they're like the lightest ones. So let's put them on. Look, we've got a Luna. 
Edna, look at that camera. Is it too bright for you? <laughs> oh. Oh, she's such a pretty girl. It's pretty done it. Right, so here's the finished look, guys. I really like it. It's pretty. Um, I think it came out exactly how I wanted, like how I planned it out. So, pleased about that. Oh, okay, again, this looks like I did. So, so this is the Beauty and the Beast palette. The inside is a bit messy now, but I'm loving these palettes so far. So, if Belle is one of your favourite princesses, then maybe pick this one up. I'm gonna have to clean this inside. I hate the messy. I am such a tidy person. Right. But um, yes, yeah, got lots of golds and reds. Um, yeah, I'll definitely try and do another look with this at some point, whether it's on video or not. Yeah, so let me know what you think of the look. What do you think of these palettes? Um, oh, I've seen that they've just announced the next palette, which is Mulan, which can't wait to get that one. <laughs> Love you then. Luna. Playing with a little um, beaver toy, which is actually my mum's cat's toy. But they love it. So. Yeah, that'll be it for this video. So if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more from me. And I shall see you in the next one. Bye.